February is over, and with that, March is upon us. Today, we will be discussing shoes to resell in the month of March. If you don't like to resell, that is completely fine as well. Feel free to use this guide as a guide to know what shoes are going to be the most hyped or what shoes are going to be the most limited, or in fact, if you're not a fan of hyped shoes and you really only like general releases, feel free to use this guide to also know which shoes to wait for the sale price on. Now specifically in this video, I will be mentioning for each individual shoe, the name of the shoe, the release date, the retail, and whether they are going to be profitable or not profitable, and even in fact if they're going to go on sale and if you should wait for that sale. First of all though, before I begin, I'm proud to announce that I will be opening up some slots for my Discord server, Endurance. Now if you don't care about this, skip to here, I know why you guys came here, you came for a video and that's fine. Essentially, Endurance has been in operation for almost three months now and everything has changed drastically. Things I would have never even imagined would be possible for this server has happened. We've built incredible relationships with some of the top tier software companies. And we've also expanded to multiple other ways of making money, not just through sneaker or clothing reselling. We now have inside connections at Kith. As most people know, it's impossible to scrape Kith links if they obfuscate. And now we've also been putting loads of work into our non Shopify monitors too, specifically because Shopify is significantly competitive. Now I don't write all the monitors myself just because I'm still a beginner in Python. And most of these sites are being monitored by URL to avoid constant spam. I really think it's annoying when undesirable products come up because they match keyword. Some of the sites will be like that, but they'll be in individual channels. But overall, when it comes to the non Shopify sites, especially Mesh, there's a lot of room for improvement, but there has been a lot of great restocks that have occurred throughout the month and initial drops throughout the month, but that's just 10% of the entire server. There's much, much more. Everything's on the site. Feel free to peruse it. I don't really want to waste your time here, but just regarding the price, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking, the current price is set to be $43.99 and it is dynamically priced. For example, the first month was only $14.99 and that was justified by what we had to offer at that time. Members who were willing to join at that time with not as much as what we had now, they get to keep that price just because it wasn't as fantastic as it is now. Now one thing to note is no, we're not stopping here. I'm not satisfied at all. I know that there's always going to be places to improve on. But anyway, feel free to check out the site. The drop will be at 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow on the 1st. I will post a link via my Twitter. My Twitter is KeithAdam10, but if you're not interested, it's fine. Let's get back to the video. Kicking it off on March 1st for $175, the LeBron 16 Low Safari Drops. Normally this wouldn't do well, but since it is a collaboration, expect some small profit to come out of these, although it's not going to be the best margin. Demand looks actually quite decent right now if you check the bids. But anyway, with those out of the way, why don't we move on to also March 1st for $100. We have the Jordan 1 Low Slip-Ons in Women's. Now these already dropped at some retailers, but they are going to be dropping again on the 1st. And for only $100, I really would definitely suggest going for these. The normal 2016 Lows did fantastic. I know that's not a direct correlation to these, but retail is only $100. There's really not much of a risk at all, especially if you're skeptical. Just stick to Nike sneakers. They do free returns there. And if you really, really are skeptical, stick to the bigger sizes on these and you'll be okay. But otherwise, I really do think that everything is going to be profitable, even if it ends up only being lunch money. Moving on to March 2nd, though, the Jordan 1 Defiance are dropping again, but only for Europe because the Europe release was delayed. Retail on these is $170. $75. I would definitely suggest sticking to sizes under nine and a half. However, if you want the best profit, the lower the size, the better. And that goes for all Jordan ones, unless they're women's. But when it does come for personal pairs of the larger sizes, definitely don't sleep on those. Moving on though, also March 2nd for $190, the Jordan 4 Pale Citron will be dropping. Now this pair is really cool in my opinion. However, if you did want a personal pair, I would suggest waiting for the sale on these. Moving to March 4th for $170, the ZX500 Chinese New Year will drop. And there's actually more demand on these in comparison to other colorways. Hence, I would not really suggest sleeping on these for personal pairs. But then again, I would also not suggest purchasing these for resale purposes. If you did want to take the risk though, it's worth noting, Adidas does do free returns. I wouldn't waste your time. Moving on to March 9th for $190, the Dream It Do It 9s will drop for $190. When it comes to these, definitely wait for the sale on these if you did end up wanting a personal pair. Also March 9th for $300, the Yeezy 700 Inertia 
we'll be dropping. For these, stick to sizes under seven. Specifically, the best ones would be four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half, and then also 12 and a half, and then sizes over 14 are incredible, and you can purchase those on adidas.com. If you did want some of the common sizes, you should also go to adidas.com because they do free returns. And they also have free shipping, so if you have no tax, you might even be able to make some small profit with a terrible margin on adidas.com. Otherwise, stick to the sizes I mentioned. Moving on, the Jordan 6 Rust drops March 15th for $190. Stick to personal only on these, and when it comes to these also, I would suggest waiting for the sale. Moving to March 16th though, the Jordan 1 sale and also red drops for $160. When it comes to these, stick to sizes under 10 and like all Jordan 1s, the smaller the size, the better. When it comes to the size 10 in these, I am expecting the size 10 to actually be lunch money if you do get it with no tax in your location. Moving to March 22nd, after multiple delays, the Game of Thrones Ultra Boost will drop. There are four colorways in this collaboration. Now, do not sleep on these for personal pairs, and as of now, I can't really give you a firm resale prediction for each individual colorway. What I can tell you right now is that demand is the highest for the red pair with the gold accents, but I'm just waiting until we get a little closer to the date. So feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay updated on those or really any hyped sneaker. But moving on to March 23rd for $300, we have another 700 V2 dropping in gray, beige, and brown and gum colorway. Stick to sizes under seven on these and also 12 and a half and 14 and up. That's going to be your best profit, and like I was mentioning with the inertias on adidas.com, you know, feel free to go for the common sizes as well. They do free returns, and they also have free shipping, luckily. There's going to be a better margin on these in comparison to the inertias, but still, with that $300 retail, it's not going to be anything significant. Also, March 23rd for $190, the Jordan 13 Atmosphere Gray drops. When it comes to these, go for personal only, and I'm also expecting these to go on sale as well, so I would suggest waiting for that. And finally, last two shoes images have loaded up for the jordan 3 tinkers in red and white these do have a removable swoosh so that's pretty unique although unfortunately i'm not expecting these to be profitable i'm expecting very similar results to what we saw with the initial jordan 3 tinker not the jth3 j23 has these listed as the 30th but i can't confirm this date retail should likely be 200 dollars and finally the last shoe i wanted to mention likely on march 30th for 220 dollars the clay 350s will be dropping when it comes to these you guys know what Yeezys by now stick to sizes under seven on these and also 12 and a half and over 14. With that though, I'm actually going to conclude today's video. Feel free to check out Endurance's informative site. The link for that is in the description. I will tweet out the link to purchase at 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. But with that, I'm going to conclude today's video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's really just been amazing. With that, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. You hit me so hard, I don't want to talk. Get your foot off my foot. Ah. Get your foot off my foot. Yeah. Why are you always in my way? Knocking me over every single day. My foot, ah, it's a foot of my foot, yeah. I should have run the other way. Now there's just one thing to say. Get your foot off my foot, ah, it's a foot.